Hello and welcome. A number of war games dedicated to 9040 campaign is quite small if you would compare it with a number of the war games dedicated to 9044, 9045 battles, especially Normandy, Arnhem, Battle of Bulk, and so on. So I am quite happy every time when uh, such a game is uh, released. One of my favorite war games even uh, ever is uh, France 40 by the, uh, GMT. But Ardennes 1940, released a year ago by the Polish company uh, Tactics and Strategy, is uh, one of the most interesting uh, games about this campaign because uh, it covers a part which is even more rarely uh, used in this in war games because it is about uh, initial stage of this uh, operation about a german right through ardennes in 1940 this was a uh, uh, easiest uh, par part of the operation for germans because they managed to overrun uh, belgian positions and uh, even so they were uh, they they weren't forced to fight against the best units of the belgian army to attack uh, Belgian fortifications, but instead they made a quick run through the unprotected uh, lines in the Ardennes and crossed the Meuse near the town, uh, near the city of Sedan, and that's where the attack on France began. In this game, you can t you can check if it was possible to stop Germans in the Ardennes or even to slow their advance. I can already tell you that it was it is very hard. Sometimes it is hardly possible, but there is a number of scenarios in this game, so, uh, so you can check uh, if it's possible with different setup. Uh, if you will have a chance, I always recommend you to read a great book about uh, this campaign uh, by Karl Heinz Freiser, German officer, a Legend of Blitzkrieg, uh, Western Campaign 940. I have a Polish edition of this book, but it was released in many languages, I believe. And this is probably the best book about this campaign you can ever find. So, about this game a bit. Ardennes 1940 was released in the Great Battles 1940, uh, 1940, uh, 1939-1945 system. There is a lot of games uh, released in this system so far since it is one of the oldest uh, Polish war game systems ever made. It started about in the uh, at the beginning of the 90s and it is uh, developed uh, since today and uh, since about I believe uh, 10 or 15 years it is released in English language as well. So uh, a board covers a large part of the Belgium and France and Germany and Lux Luxembourg. I'm going to show you everything I believe now. So when you look at the map you can clearly tell that this is not a, probably your favorite uh, land to make any uh, armored attacks. A lot of hills, a lot of mountains, a lot of uh, woods and that's how uh, most of the uh, staff officers in the British or French or Belgian staff uh, thought. Even so at the 30s, some of the Allied commanders actually believed that it is possible to make a devastating strike through the Ardennes, but they, uh, these were younger commanders and the, their superiors thought it is just a stupid idea to attack through Ardennes. Well, Germans had a different idea and, as you know, it worked quite well. Uh, so, uh, you have two uh, big cities on the board, Liege on the, here, and Namur. Both of them are surrounded with fortifications, so they would be uh, normally a tough nut to crack. But when you attack with Germans, you don't have to actually be afraid of these fortifications, because if you don't want, you don't have to actually attack through. Your goal as a German player is to cross Meuse and to move west. Uh, Germans gain victory points for uh, each of the units that leave the board through the uh, uh, western, su western edge of the board. So they are starting in the Germany of course, so this is a long way for them, but uh, there is a lot of great uh, armored uh, divisions that can make their way even before allies would be able to form a solid lines of defense all over the Belgium. 
So, Germans are start starting in Germany and uh, they have a long way to go, but uh, uh, the good thing is that the Belgians have a very limited uh, units in the Ardennes. <coughs> Actually, it is uh, one uh, Chasseurs Ardennes uh, division, which is uh, quite an equivalent of uh, infantry division, and some stronger units <coughs> that are in the both fortresses. Liege and Namur. The problem is that uh, these units aren't very fast, so uh, if, uh, if uh, our Chasseurs Ardennes wouldn't be able to st stop or even maybe slow down Germans a bit, <clears throat> then the uh, remaining uh, Belgian units wouldn't be able to help. <clears throat> there are also some French units coming from the south, <clears throat> but even they, they, if they are qu quite fast, because uh, French unit, units here contains mostly a motorized cavalry, uh, they are weak. <clears throat> so uh, Germans with their uh, mighty tank divisions are able to actually drive through uh, these uh, French and Belgian troops and made their way <clears throat> to the Mers Moss quite easy. <clears throat> At last in the historical scenario. Because game contains three scenarios, and let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Here they are, oh, here you can see the other games uh, released in the system. And <clears throat> here, I have a Polish edition of this game, uh, but uh, like I said before, uh, you can order uh, edition with English rules, since uh, board and counters and everything else is, uh, is printed in English. <clears throat> so, uh, here we have a, a historical scenario, Ardennes 1940, which gives us uh, uh, all only these these units that were actually involved in this battle with <coughs> Germans superior by all means and this is the e an easiest uh, scenario for uh, uh, for Germans to win next is out on out scenario uh, th in this scenario everything is <coughs> almost the same as in the historical scenario but uh, an allied player is allowed to deploy his unit freely so he can uh, set up them in the better positions than, the, than, than uh, they originally were. And he also gains some more support of the French unit, because in this scenario, uh, French armies decide to uh, deploy some of their forces that were originally meant to be used in Plan Deal to uh, Ardennes. And finally, we have a, a last scenario for Thérèse de la Montaigne, in this uh, scenario, Allied player is uh, allowed to use all the units that were around and were able to be used in Ardennes. So this is the this is the hardest uh, scenario for Germans because uh, uh, there there are French uh, armored division, French tank battalions uh, involved. So Allies are much more uh, better prepared and much stronger. So uh, this is not an easy uh, thing to do to win with Germans with this scenario, it also shows that it was actually possible to stop Germans. The problem was that Allies weren't eager to change their plans quickly. They were so focused on their original pre-war prepared plans that they uh, couldn't change them and, to, and move any of their units to, uh, to Ardennes to stop and cut off uh, uh, attacking Germans. The game was released in the Great Battles 1939-1945 system. It is actually quite easy system. This is not a very complicated. <coughs> uh, you can tell all just by the rules. Here you have a combat table, disorganization table, and uh, terrain table, a modifiers table, and uh, some tables for uh, art, uh, bomber attacks. Uh, at a ground attack, art uh, air, air forces attack, artillery attack, and destruction of objects attack. So there's not much uh, of the tables, and there are 12 pages of rules, so it is, I think, pretty easy. Uh, now let's take a look on the counters. Oh, maybe I should um, uh, tell a bit more about uh, rules. This is typical I go, you go uh, game. <laughs> when one one player makes he moves his units, then he attacks, and then uh, the other player moves his units and attacks. Uh, you can also use artillery to support your attack and or to um, perform 
uh, their independent attacks on the enemy and you can you can also use uh, your uh, air forces for the same <laughs> if you play with another human player there's an interesting option with uh, concealment you can use uh, concealment counters on your uh, units so enemy uh, that, uh, has no idea what kind of units you actually have on the hex till the moment when the combat begins when the combat begins a uh, concealment counter is uh, taken away and each side knows what units are on the hex but these are used uh, when you play with another human player if you play solitaire you uh, don't have to use these counters this game is quite solitaire friendly because <laughs> there are no any hidden rules uh, that uh, you need to do in secret from the enemy Okay, now let's take a look on the counters. You can see there is a, quite a number of them. Here we have field fortifications counters. Uh, here we have lap, lack of supply counters because it is one of the mo mo uh, biggest problems for allies in this game uh, because German units are quite fast and they're, they're, uh, it is easy for them to cut off uh, slower allied units from the, <coughs> from the supply bases and they end lacking of supply and because of that they are, they are often eliminated. But this is also a threat for Germans. If uh, a light uni, a light player would be su uh, successful enough, he might actually cut off German armored divisions from their own bases of supply and they might be forced to stay because they won't be able to attack anymore. There are also some uh, other uh, markers like disorganization markers, uh, destro destroyed objects markers, and some interesting thing which is uh, I, I, I never uh, uh, saw in any other game save this uh, system, which is strategic movement. A strategic movement allows you to mark count, you, your units with this counter and uh, your, your unit might move after all the combats are resolved. You don't move these units during movement phase, but you move these units only after all the attacks are resolved. So this is a good option to see uh, if your attacks were actually successful and then drive your units through the broken lines of uh, enemy defense in the good old Blitzkrieg style. So that's all when it comes to the markers and next we have uh, units counters. Uh, this game uses a uh, regiment uh, and sometimes a battalion scale. It depends on, uh, 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 as for this system, it sometimes uses uh, division scale as well, mostly for the Eastern Front, since uh, Russian divisions weren't as, as strong as German or uh, Allied divisions. They were often a strength of the brigade rather than division. So in the Western Front, in, in the Eastern Front games, uh, they are also all, 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 uh, quite often Russian divisions, but here we have uh, uh, regiments of German, Belgian and French army. Uh, uh, counters are uh, nicely done. I like uh, graphics. I'm go going to show you some. And zoom a bit maybe. We have cavalry, uh, tanks, uh, motorized infantry. You can see a truck uh, marker. Uh, Allied player actually has a lot of fast units. This is uh, especially when it comes to the French army because there is a lot of French light cavalry divisions and brigades, some uh, some uh, tank units. So they are quite fast, and if you if if uh, if they are used well, they might might actually cause a lot of problems for Germans. But the problem is that German forces where I have oh yes here. German forces are actually superior. For example, you can. I'm going to check some of the German forces. As you can see, here we have a German tank regiment, and here we have French uh, tank brigade, so they are, well, kind of equal uh, forces. And you can see that, for example, uh, this French regiment has six strength points, while the, uh, sorry, uh, this uh, French tank brigade has six strength points, while this uh, German tank regiment has nine strength points and also has a star. This star is a modifier that provides you a column shift uh, during the battle. Also, a German player has more HQ counters and they also uh, gives you some modifiers for combat. 
and uh, uh, German, cover, German artillery is much uh, faster than Allied, since, uh, since Allies have some uh, artillery, but most of uh, Allies' artillery is placed in the fortresses, it is uh, non-mobile, so it's harder for Allies to use their artillery, while Germans have their artillery motorized, and they are, this is, uh, it is quite fast, and it can provide a very uh, good uh, support for German attacks. Also, Germans have a lot of uh, <coughs> motorized infantry, and their uh, tanks are, in general, are superior than Allied uh, tanks. Even uh, you may ask uh, if it's if it makes sense because if you would compare armor and weapons of the uh, tanks of German and French armies, you may think that French tanks were actually better. <coughs> this is a false. French tanks were sometimes better armored and better uh, uh, better armored, but in fact they are they were mostly radioless or they have very poor radios. So uh, their commanders weren't able to actually uh, command them in the way that Germans did during this uh, campaign. Also, German, uh, German uh, tankers were already experienced after Polish uh, campaign and sometimes even after Spanish civil war when some of them uh, fought, while French uh, tank uh, uh, commanders were greenhorns without any serious combat experience and with Outdate, outdated tactics of the tanks uh, used, uh, taken straight from the World War I. So that's why uh, German units are stronger than French, even if you might think that French tanks were actually better than German tanks. There is a lot of French cavalry in this game, which is pretty interesting, because uh, you may think that uh, Poland was the last country that used uh, cavalry in the big number during World War II, but it is false. French army has a lot of cavalry as well, Soviet army had uh, even more cavalry as well, and even Germans, at the la latest stage of the war, used some cavalry as well. So this is interesting because in the uh, further games about uh, Western Front, you, you won't rather see uh, cavalry on any of sides, but here you can see you can have quite a lot of French cavalry. Uh, we have two uh, factors on the counters. Uh, th this is a strength and this is a number of movement points of the units. So, like I said, this is not a very uh, uh, hard game. The rules are fairly easy and uh, quite uh, fast to learn. Along with Germans and <coughs> French armies came uh, Belgian, com comes Belgian because they are well, we are fighting most of this battle on, in the Belgium. Belgian units are not as strong as uh, French or German. They are mostly uh, light infantry or uh, motorcycle, uh, sometimes, infantry. Uh, Belgian army hasn't any uh, armored units and only a very few <coughs> motorized units, so it, it is, in general, uh, weaker and not, uh, and, uh, not much good, uh, but it can be useful because, like I said, the terrain is the biggest threat for Germans. If you would use uh, Belgian units wisely, there is still a chance to slow Germans down. Because you don't, you, uh, especially in the historical scenario, you don't have to uh, think about beating Germans. This is impossible. But uh, if you will success successfully stop uh, Germans, this, uh, then uh, you might be actually victorious while a German player has to attack, attack and attack again, uh, caring not about any uh, losses, just making his way uh, to the mouse as fast as possible. Uh, each scenario uh, takes turn t t 10 turns. Here we have a turn track in the upper left corner of the uh, board. So this is not a very long game. If you look for some... Uh, if you look for some, something uh, which is not a monster game, <coughs> which, which won't take you a week to play, this might be actually a good game, because, uh, like I said, this system is not, uh, not hard, and uh, this is uh, quite a fast game, because the big number of the uh, fast units on both sides, especially when it comes to Germans and French armies. So, <coughs> if, you would like, if you like games about Ardennes 1944, and you would like to see uh, operation that uh, was an origin of the uh, G German plan of 1944, this might be a good chance for you to get this game and to play this with 
Germans being much stronger than in 1944 and their enemy being much weaker than in 1944 as well. So, thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, this game was uh, already released in English as well. Also, I like to say that I really like this box with magnetic closure. It's somehow like a chest <laughs> than actually a box for a game. And I think uh, that it is one of the uh, very interesting things that has this game and something I never saw in any other <coughs> war game before. So that's for uh, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and see you again.